All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review to the 2023 horror film called The Last Voyage of the Dementor, aka the, the Dracula Backstory, which is based on a book, and I think it's the book that started the whole thing uh, in the 1800s um, with uh, the Dracula franchise and story and myth. So... But here's a plot of this specific story. Uh, the crew of the merchant ship Dementor set sail from Carsapania to London to deliver a cargo of 50 unmarked wooden crates. However, they soon discover they're not alone, as Dracula's unholy presence turns the trip into a nightmarish fight for survival. Now here's the cast. Now, one of the best Game of Thrones actors, Liam Cunningham, was the captain and was also narrating the film. He's one of the best actors to do both, as he's such a good actor with a capt captivating voice. Also, everything about him says old timey sailor, if you look at him. Now there is a super creepy, this is a super creepy film. The dark lighting and the contra, uh, contrast, along with the constant creaking ship, along with the synthy screechy score. Uh, but for me personally, I would say this wasn't that scary. And that's not necessarily a bad thing always, especially when it comes to me. If anyone know, knows about me that's been here long enough, I come with scared cats, so kind of, those higher end type of stuff, horror films, I'm not a fan of, uh, just because I'm scared that easy. Um, and that's gonna be interesting when I do Talk With Me, I think it's called, when it comes out, or when I uh, do Around It, Around It, either this week or next week, so pray for me on that. <laughs> but yes, a couple of jump scares, but that's really it. They went with uh, the old style of Dracula, we normally get a more human look, especially these days. However, it looked more like a slightly bad CGI gargoyle to me, and it was kind of off-putting throughout the film. It kind of took away from the scariness of it, if there was any. Um, you know, it had creepiness again, but still. Uh, it was a very enjoyable film, nonetheless, and very interesting take on Dracula. I'll give it that. It had great acting, great score, great sound design, but in my opinion, the story was lacking a solid story for almost two, for a almost two hour film. Starting off great and ended okay, but a good chunk in between and somewhat of a drag it, to it while it was, as a whole was already slow pacing. And slow pacing is not always what people, a lot of people make it out to be. It can go either way, uh, to be honest. Uh, it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing, it's just how slow is it? Um, and I wouldn't say it was like really slow, it was just kind of a little bit slow, kind of sluggish in a bit, but it wasn't necessarily so bad that it was as painful, you know? Um, but here's my reading, I'll come back to my final thoughts. First off, I want to ask, what did you guys think of this film? Let me know in the comments below, or just your thoughts in general. For me, it definitely could have been better, but I still had a fun time and loved the characters. Except for Dracula. Um, even though they're being dumb by constantly dismissing the bites and deaths as, a, as a accidents, which was annoying to me. Uh, however, I do recommend this film. Just wait till the price goes down when it comes out uh, on digital release or in general to you guys. Right now it's in theaters. I got this on iTunes. I don't know if this is available to rent on any other platform like Amazon Prime or something. I know if you, if you guys have subscriptions and it's on there, then don't worry about it. But it's still kind of a film that is very interesting enough for me to recommend it to because um, again it wasn't terrible it wasn't bad it was just you know i think it was there were some issues with it i think the biggest one would be this the design and uh, slash cgi of dracula um i get 
what they were going for. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just it's it was okay. Um, but uh, yeah, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. Remember every, everyone spread the love. Look out for each other. Stay safe. I love you, Skull.